Hey everyone, welcome back. This time we're going to be doing the reaction to the NXT. I can't believe this is actually going on before uh, the final match. Because normally the NXT Championship is the final match of the pay-per-view. But this match is for the NXT Championship. It is Aleister Black um, challenging Andrade C um, Cien Almas. Aleister Black, what's his middle name? Ain't? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it! That guy isn't black! <laughs> <laughs> I think he heard you guys. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't look happy. How can he hear us from all the way in New Orleans? The look on his face. He's always like that. <laughs> the idol? I, I did love his new look from when he came in to... Oh, he's sporting silver this time! Silver with gold! Nice! When he came in at um, NXT TakeOver Philly, he was sporting the Mexico colors. But in a way, when he comes out with the mask, and then he just takes it off, I find it a bit offensive to all the mask wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. because it's not, the mask wrestlers, they keep the thing on, it's a, it's a mark of honor yeah. to have your mask. It's when, when, I don't know, I don't, forgive me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong but one other thing I've noticed about Luchador style wrestling, and we segue into this real quick, is that the mask is a sign of respect, a sign of honor. As like when you find your style, you find your mask, that's your identity, that's you, and it must be respected. This guy comes in with a luchador mask that's Halloween and just rips it right off, and it just, it just kind of shows no respect to the style. It's like he's making fun of the style when he walks down the ring. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, Chris Jericho, back when he was in WCW, along with Juventud Guerrera and Rey Mysterio, <laughs> uh, had a title versus mask match with both of them individually and Rey Mysterio caught it first where uh, Chris Jericho made him tap out to the Lion Tamer because of that bad leg and well of course it's now called the freaking Walls of Jericho um, and then Rey Mysterio had to unmask and he spent the rest of his WCW career unmasked now with to which I by the way, have the match on um, on videotape nice. um, from Super Brawl 8 faced off against uh, Chris Jericho and lost mm. putting his mask on the line and that night on in, w in his wrestling career period Hooven 2 has been, unmasked, been wrestling unmasked mm. Yeah, that's an emergency thing. You ate a huge salad. Don't clip me. Salad, salad, salad still leaves you hungry. Do not clip Huxtable me. Not the salad we had yesterday. The salad, the yeah, salad yesterday. we had today was great. Oh! What the hell? I missed, I missed the second one. We, we, we still have salad ingredients if you want to make salad. Maybe later. Right now I want crackers. Oh look, there's one in the ring right now. Oh wow, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that look on your face, I'm sorry, I had to I just uh no 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 I just tennis match that right back to you. No. <laughs> like that's a little like Sinkata. Suicide. The real no, Sinkata. No. Oh yeah, yeah. The real, because, real. let's get it right. Yeah, the not real not, Sinkata. Not Unikara. Um, suicide. 
the real suicide who currently is in um, 205 Live. I'm surprised that the masked wrestlers don't pull a Kakashi. Under this mask is another mask. Because we already had a wrestler that did that years ago. Really? Who? I don't remember. It's been a while, so it doesn't remind me of this. The man of a thousand masks. Mil Mascaras. Really? All yes. Right. The uncle of Alberto El Patron. Remember, I haven't seen this stuff. Yet. I don't watch it regularly. I don't keep up. But that, that's, a, that's a huge trick. Like, I'm this mask. I'm a mask, bitch. Yeah. You're not seeing me like that. No. I mean, hell, Rey Mysterio did that a couple of times when he was uh, full time in WWE. You know, that's got to be uncomfortable, though. Oh, wrestle with masks? Multiple Mo- yeah, masks on. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like, okay, I lost the I lost the mask versus title match. <laughs> Here's a mask. And you'd be like, wait, you're supposed to be unmasked. Uh, yeah, I didn't say that I was going to unmask all of my masks. I'm a man of many faces, remember? Mm-hmm. I also Very like what Bernard Serio did when he wore, like, two masks. He would give one to the kid. Yeah. The yeah. audience. Yeah, he used to do that. But the thing is, is that it's not like we haven't, and Ray, I hope you're listening. It's not like we don't know what you look like under the mask, man. But I still respect the fact that you wear a mask because you carry that tradition proudly. Yeah. Exactly. So, how many practice somebody in the room? All right, hang on. <sighs> oh, mom said, oh, side note, babe, mom said she'll do what she can this month. Okay. I can't say I'm out with a lot of... Like, rather than this guy throw the mask um, on the ground. Exactly. I still say that. Was, I'm sorry I did to, to sound like a broken record, but... I feel that's disrespectful to the Lucha Libre style. Yes, I totally agree. It, 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 you come in wearing a mask, okay, in honor of them, I guess, but then you just toss the shit to the side like it ain't nothing? That's total disrespect on the on the Lucha Libre art, you know? I mean, hell, even to the Japanese wrestlers, a lot of Japanese wrestlers come in with face paint, but a lot of others come in with masks, like the legendary Juice and Thunder Liger. I oh, think he would react to that. A minute. Huh? I heard that name in a minute. Juice and Thunder Liger. God. <laughs> he still wrestles. Really? <clears throat> yes. He still wrestles. He's, he can still go at a, a man of his age. So let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. On, on the NXT that we've seen so far, mm-hmm. who do you think, if any, would you say, in your opinion, are ready to move on to the main roster? Honestly, I could say the Undisputed Era is definitely a group of individuals that belongs in the main roster mm-hmm. because of you know their athletic prowess and. I've been watching each and every one of them since their indie, uh, their indie careers, since they were in Ring of Honor. I know what they can do in the ring and outside the ring. The problem is, as soon as they get to the main roster, they have to change their move, um, their move set because some of the moves that they can pull off in NXT, they can't in WWE. Why do you think AJ Styles went straight to the main roster and has not done? A springboard shooting star press to anyone on the outside. Understood. But are you afraid that if some of your picks, let's say if we, um, them, they'll be Litz, L I T S, lost in the shuffle? Possibly, because with Roger Strong, he's at the 200 pound even mark, so they might make him for, they might make all four of them for, like, um, what you call it? for 205. If that's the case, then 205 might as well start to have a tag team division. You know, and now, I want to see some, a couple, I want to see a uh, few more of these guys, just slender. Oh, oh God, that looks like it hurts. Um, but anyway. A um, dropping chine will choke on the outside of the ropes. Like I said, it looks like it hurt. I would love to see some of these guys try to, you know, show their stuff in the WWE. Oh, crap! Damn! A bicycle kick catching him in midair. He can say something without someone getting kicked in the face. Anyway, um, 
this girl better these, stay out the way because somebody's coming. I would love to see some of these guys do their thing in WWE. Um, and I want to see some of these guys like Brock Lesnar be out of WWE permanently. No offense to him, but let's be real here. We, you can see it in what he does. He don't want to be there. Exactly. He really don't want to. So why are you torturing yourself for a few extra bucks? The, the way and I, I just don't. I'm not feeling him like I used to back in the day when he was a regular mainstreamer. Exactly. He clearly don't want to be there. Exactly. So bring the guys in that want to. Bring the guys in that have drive. Bring the people in, the men and women that have the gumption to take it to the next level and to show something. Rather than people sitting there like, Mister, I can duplex. I can duplex. You know, we don't yes, need yes. <laughs> we don't need guys in there that don't want to be there. Exactly. Nice. Also, give the Hardys back their gimmick. No. Uh -oh. this, whole, this whole woken shit is not. Get, let them be broken. No. Let them be, brother Nero. Uh, one thing. You even know. It's properly copywritten and trademarked by the Hardys themselves. Mm -hmm. You know WWE is going to try um, try their best to actually pay them off to get it copywritten themselves. Yeah, they want to. Now, here's the thing. No, for, on the subject of the Hardy Boys, love me some Matt and Jeff. Always did. Love the athleticism. You guys are practically, with, uh, unbeknownst to them, are paying homage, paying homage to the Rockers. Because I love how speedy they are in the ring. And I love how technical Whoa. they are. Oh, that looks like it hurt. <laughs> Snap German <laughs> suplex. Oh, Jason just said we in the back room. I'm like, that looked like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let me suplex you. Let me German suplex you. Moonsault? Oh, oh, oh! 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 That was sweet! Nice. Nice, that was good. That was good. Moonsault landed on his feet while Alistair was moving out the way, and he moonsaulted. He did a standing moonsault after that on Alistair. And you see that he's not answering good. me. I said, Anthony, let me suplex you. Nah, not okay. good. Um, okay. <laughs> That's our brother. You don't want to suplex him. Nah, not not even if, not, not even. I, I couldn't. I ain't got. I look. I might look like it sometimes, but I realistically do not have the stamina or the energy it, or the, for or energy for a wrestling match. I couldn't. That takes way too much energy out of you. Well, it is. Uh, it has been said, and it's been true that big men can't really go for about a good 20, 30 minutes into a match. Mm. You know. They can go at least five to ten minutes, and then after that, run out of gas. I mean, it's been very well documented over the years with Big Show. Yeah. Now, I'm no Paul White. I can throw down, but like you said, not for a very long. Ooh. Good Lord, that looked like it hurt. See, I can't get sense off without somebody getting kicked. <laughs> I can throw down, but not for very long. Remember, don't try this at home. Yeah. I want some dumbbells. Try it at home. Yeah, that was good. Remember in the 90s, my brother. Oh, shit. I remember in the 90s, my 11 year old brother used to suplex me into the sofa. And then what did you do to him, baby? Oh, yeah. Once I started taking karate, um, I was practicing a roundhouse kick. He was coming around the corner and it connected with his jaw. This is why you don't try this at home, kids. Because you never know if somebody just as dumb or smarter than you might be ready for you. <laughs> My 12 year old foot hit him in the face. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is what happened to him. Do not know to me. <laughs> Don't ever try and wake me up for school. I say you go back. He learned that the hard way as well. My my twelve year old handprint was imprinted on his back. <laughs> anyway, that's back to the match. He's grabbing his tights hold on. Now takes an elbow to the face. Oh! Oh! 
all I'm seeing is finding Shane Silver. <laughs> I think I have my glasses on. Because <laughs> you're blinded by the silver. I'm trying to get blinded by that silver shit. <laughs> oh, oh. Looking like aluminum foil. Whoa! I'm mad someone has a Bo Leave shirt. Right here in the front row. <laughs> Wait, is that? Yo, that's Sasha Banks! I just saw Sasha Banks in the, in the, in the front row. Dude, you just got a bow leave. He knows it. Wow. What the hell was that? Zelina Vega with a with a hurricanrana. it wasn't for her, she's he would have won. Key. If it wasn't for her, he would have won. She's earning her key. Better be getting a bonus for all this, you know. That's all it is is two versus one when you have someone as someone that has a manager out there. Uh oh. No, he hit him. He hit him with a double stomp. Oh, okay. He tore that arm right out. One, two. Oh! Oh, face. <coughs> Oh, 
I know they call that the black mask, but I call it the fade to black. I mean, come on. That's getting roundhouse kick is lethal. Oh, they're both on the apron. This can't be good. DDT, that's his finishing move. Drew McIntyre, now former NXT champion. Nice! wins. Alistair wins. Unless he can hit him with a second hammerlock DDT, Alistair wins. in the past that had managers at um, at their corner has actually either won or lost championships. Look at Jimmy Hart. Look at the late great Bobby the Brain Heenan. Look at the late great um, uh, the Grand Rip, the Grand Wizard. Yep. You know, guys like them, and as as well as now um, a WWE Hall of Famer and sadly the recently departed Johnny Valiant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read about that. Congratulations to Alistair Black. This was this was a great match. Hammerlock DDT went into the cover. I don't know how he kicked out of that. That move took out both Drew McIntyre and Johnny Gargano. That was the that was the one move that won him the NXT championship. Black mass right there out of nowhere. One, two, and three. Alistair Black wins and becomes the newest NXT champion. Yeah, if you think about it, I almost caught that leader treatment. It's about damn time. Since day one. I knew this guy was was destined to be champion, and now 
on the weekend of WrestleMania. He is NXT Champion. Congratulations, Alistair. And we'll be right back for our main event, Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa, unsanctioned match. <laughs> 